Hey everyone, I'm Travis. And I'm Caitlin. And this is Rodney. Say hi, Rodney. <laughs> and we're the Wilmix. And this is our RV tour. <laughs> Uh, this is the garage. Uh, we use it for storage. We keep our vacuum and my tools and any other kind of things that we need to store, we usually keep in here. Okay, this is our patio set that we bought and our flowers that I'm stored of keeping alive. And this is our sign that I made and I'm really happy about it. We walked around the trailer park and a lot of the people had signs, so we thought we needed one too. Come check out the inside. Oh, and there's Rodney. <laughs> So this is the living room. Uh, the couch is a pull-out couch, so if we ever have any visitors, they can stay on the pull-out. Uh, we also added some personal touches, some stuff from our wedding, like the sign and some other pictures, just to kind of make it feel a little more, more like home. Um, and our TV setup, we added a little shelf in there so we could have my PlayStation and the cable box down there, so that kind of helps for room too. Rodney likes to climb up on here, and this is his little cuddle spot. Um, he likes to rip around and jump in and out of there. And he also put his litter box in behind where there was a, uh, a drawer, and we took the drawer out and then just kind of put the litter box in behind to kind of hide it from, from other people seeing it, and that kind of helps a lot too. So this is the kitchen. Um, this is where we keep all our groceries and stuff and it's kind of handy because we have this little door that slides up and down. Um, this is where we keep all our glasses and plates and stuff. Uh, we really had to minimize what we brought with us because we had so much stuff in our old place when we packed up that we had to kind of just bring essential stuff and like we brought a few cups and a few plates just for just for the size of the trailer that we have. Um, this is the fridge. It also is pretty fridge and freezer. There isn't a lot of room in these two, so we also have to kind of go get groceries a little more often, but uh, it's, it's pretty good for what we need it for. Um, and this cutting board we got for our wedding is like the best cutting board ever. You just kind of like slide in your little inserts, you cut them and then you go wash them. Um, and this little rolly cart that Caitlin had from Ikea is really handy too because we can keep stuff in the different shelves and stuff, Rodney's treats and, and the saran wrap and stuff, so it works. So this is our dining room table, I guess. Um, it's really handy. It's kind of big, we mostly just like store stuff on it unfortunately. But it's good when we have friends over and we play cards and stuff on it. Sometimes we eat stuff around it like a real family. Um, Ronnie's food dish is over here, down there, in his little bed. And then this is also our little gallery wall. We used to have like this huge mirror right here. And my dad actually helped us with it and he like pried it off. And then all this mirror went shattered. Anyway, so we added this to kind of make it more personal and it's not just like the tacky decorations of the trailer. So I really like this wall. So in here is our bathroom. We added this full length mirror because it's really handy to have. Um, this is our closet. Has all of our clothes in it. Oops, sorry. And then we have like a couple drawers in here too with our clothes. But that's where all of our clothes are kept, it's kind of tight. And then this is the bedroom. Kind of a tight space, but we moved the trailer butt out, the mattress. 
and put our own mattress in and it made such a difference. It's so much more comfortable. It's a little bit higher, so that's why I said it's kind of a tight space walking around, but we don't really walk around, so it's good. We also took away part the ugly headboard that was on here. It matched this, so it's not very good looking. And we added this. It's a beautiful sign. Our friend Brittany made us for our wedding, so we love having that as our headboard. And yeah, that's our bedroom. So we've been living in our trailer for almost a year. We moved into it September 1st of last year. Um, we didn't move out to Victoria until September 10th, but we've been in it for almost a year, so we thought we'd share some of the good things and some of the bad things about living in a trailer. Um, so some of the details are, it's a fifth wheel trailer. 27 footer. Are you counting for her? 27 footer. <laughs> how many square feet is it? I have no idea. Some amount of square feet. <laughs> um, there's one slide out. Yeah, it's in the living room. our kitchen and living room area. Mm -hmm. We wish we had more. We wish we had one in this bedroom actually to make the bedroom a little bit bigger. Yeah, we could have bigger so would be perfect. closet or like a dresser. Yeah. So we, have yeah. We, we like it a lot better than a lot of the um, the units in the trailer park. I just We like the way the Okanagans are built and the way they look. Mm -hmm. What we really want to do is someday redo the whole trailer yes. and take out the carpets and redo the floors and and stuff like that but yeah we're gonna put my dad to work <laughs> yeah. hey dad yeah get ready lauren we're coming for you okay so what is your favorite thing about living in the trailer um well i have a few favorite things about living in the trailer uh one if you ever have to clean up the trailer it doesn't take long to clean up the trailer it's a few places to clean up here and there and it's it's relatively easy it doesn't take too much time um, I like the fact that if you ever have to go anywhere, you don't have to pack anything up. You hook up the fifth wheel and you take off. Yeah. That's a nice, that's a nice feeling too. We haven't done that yet though, really. No, we've been, no. we've, we stayed put One day, mostly. <laughs> um, is that it? What's your favorite part about the trailer? My favorite part about the trailer is that it's our first house we've ever owned together. That's true. Or at, at all. Yeah. Um, also though, it feels like adventurous. Makes me just want to like go traveling in it. it really yeah. Is. People fun. thought we were crazy purchasing this and, and living in Victoria in a trailer they thought we're like oh god like are you guys gonna survive or like yeah we'll be fine it, it was yeah I also like, think people thought we were gonna be like in an old school trailer with yeah. no slide outs where it's, it's just true. like a little hallway yeah that would be crazy yeah okay what's your least favorite thing um my least favorite thing about the trailer probably well one of the things is I wish we had a bigger shower and a tub that would have been yeah. nice to have. We do have a tub, is, but we'd have to like yeah, just Yeah, it's sit tiny. Up there. And the shower is pretty small too, so I kind of wish we had a bigger shower. But our RV park has showers and like yeah. a laundry mat, so we don't have a washer and dryer in here, so we just use the We just walk park down the lane. Yeah. They're pretty nice. They're, they're pretty good, so. yeah. So We do shower in here a lot though, but it's just not like grooming. Mm -hmm. um, my least favorite thing is the closet space. Yeah. So That's a big one. We had to like leave a lot of our clothes at home, and that was really annoying. And also like shoes, we don't have a lot of room for shoes, so... Yeah. We only bought a few pairs each, really. Yeah. So, that's the only thing that sucks, because we always have to like, roll up our clothes and yeah. shove them in our Make closet. Yeah, the most of the room. And so yeah. that kind of sucks. So, that's yeah. what I don't like. Yeah. If you could change one thing about our trailer, what would you mm. change? Besides like, how what was it? Oh, well I was going to say to change all the carpets into hardwood, but... Mm, yeah. um, no, we didn't say that then. Oh, well, I mean, I said eventually we are going to do it, but yeah, probably change all the carpet into hardwood. It's nice to have all... Hardwood or tile in here, so that'd be something I'd change. Uh, one thing you? I would change is that sometimes our roof is leaking in this because we live in a rainy place. Yeah. So actually, I wouldn't change the roof. I would change my husband so that he could like fix it better. <laughs> That's a bit rude. I do just fine. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's a bit rude. <laughs> um. <laughs> no, but I would. Um, I'm <laughs> handy. I really am. You don't give me enough credit. Um, no, he did. He did a good job. I did. But we just had to like kind of keep going in and doing it again. It is very moist in on Vancouver Island, and it's. Yeah. I mean, one thing is we bought a dehumidifier, which was huge. Like it, uh, we ran that thing quite a bit over the winter months, and it and it kept the moisture down quite a bit, so that helped. So if I have to tell anybody that's living around a place like this, yeah. is to buy a dehumidifier yeah, like to right keep right the moisture away. down. Just invest in one. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't that much money either, and we no. used it like every day yeah. during yeah. the rainy season, so that was good. Is there um, anything else you'd tell people that want to think about living in an RV? Like, yes. do you have any tips? Or My anything? tip would be to renovate it before you move into it because yeah. we only bought this with like a month before we moved. Like, I think we bought it 
I don't know. The beginning of August, anyways. I mean, yeah. moved into it at the end of August. So I would say if you have the time to redo it all, because I would like to paint everything in here, get rid of this shitty, ugly, <coughs> shitty, ugly nice. pattern. There's a lot of mirrors in here. Like this is a mirror. Like, why do you need a mirror there? We want to take eventually take this whole back part out. Yeah, so and there's then more have headroom. Like, yeah, have like a little and bedside table here yeah, with put a in light, some tables, so it doesn't yeah. feel so cramped. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, do the hardwood floors, take out the carpet. Like paint everything. Everything will be white in here. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of work, but it'll be. It'll and then really also good. like change the these because those are really ugly too. Oh, the shades. Yeah. Yeah, I need to change. These. I mean, they're nice, but they're ugly. Yeah. So that would be my tip: is that do that before you move in. Yeah, be, I, agree. I like yeah. I love our trailer, but I would love it so much more if it was done the way we wanted it to be done. Yeah. If we had more time, like I said, we probably would have done that beforehand, yeah. but we bought it like so quick before we left. So yeah, we didn't have time. Yeah. What would you? What would be your mm, advice for people moving to each other? My advice, uh, if you haven't ever driven with an RV before, learn to drive with it and learn to back up. I mean, I've had experience driving trailers before, so I was fine. But for those of you who haven't, I say rip around the neighborhood a bit and learn to back up a fifth wheel or a bump pull, whatever you're pulling. Get some experience because don't just hit the road and think you will be fine. Because we, when we were driving here, we had to get into a few tight spaces. So I had to get a little bit of help from some of the guys in the trailer park to help me back up because she was kind of uh, not not great help, but <laughs> but uh, yeah, get some experience with backing up the trailer. Seriously, it'll help a lot. Yeah, we so. had to back up into this tiny spot, and we couldn't even like once we got in there, we couldn't even pull our slide out like that. No, that's it was. Well, yeah, it was not so, good. Yeah. So, so it was no. It's thanks that. to the guys that helped help back us up. And then when we got out. here, though, it was like the easiest. Oh yeah. And we were like pros by then. We just like oh, backed yeah. up and we were like. Well, it helped yep. that there was a road that runs this way too, so we just pulled up, pulled up and pulled back in. Made so it, it was fine. Like Sorry. But I definitely recommend living in an RV if you haven't. If you if you feel like you have to, you need to go on an adventure, do it. Just go out and do it. It's a lot of fun. And one day our goal is to work from home and travel around. Travel around, yeah. For like the whole year and just living in our trailer, going to different places and seeing things yeah we can do that it'll be a lot of fun huh. is that it i think Anything so else? no i think that's it okay that's it yeah i just want to thank you guys for watching and if you have any comments leave them in the comment section we like to hear your feedback and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos and stuff just make sure to watch out for more videos from us yeah that's it thanks that's not nice that's not nice Uh, <laughs> this is worse than I thought. Uh, I don't know, what do you, what do you say with stuff like this? This is all where we keep all our silverware and... and <laughs> this is... <laughs> shit. <laughs> Good? Yeah. Like the way you look? No. A bit bigger in the arms, but <laughs> okay. Dragon hair. Can we kiss now?